What's up, YouTube? So, sitting in my hotel room, and I uh, just finished journaling. And I uh, just want to talk about what was in my journal today. I kind of wanted to shed some light on the improvements that I've been making. Namely, because literally I haven't been smoking weed and I haven't been drinking. Uh, but I could just remember a couple of months ago, uh, just smoking weed every day, driving, drinking here and there. And, you know, I would unload. And part of, you know, the hard part, not hard part, but kind of tedious part about what I do <clears throat> is after I unload, there is a cleaning up and an organization process to my trailer. I have to fold or bundle pads. I have to organize my uh, my bands. I had to sweep. Um, I had to clean up all the trash that was accumulated from unloading because sometimes there's boxes and there's wrap and everything is all discombobulated and I have to organize that. And I can just remember a couple of months ago um, convincing myself after the unload of, man, I don't want to, oh, man, I don't want to clean my trailer, man. I'll do it tomorrow. And tomorrow comes. Then I'll do it tomorrow. Man, I'd rather do this. I'd rather do that. And um, just yesterday, I had finished cleaning up my trailer and I had to unload and I got out there and I actually cleaned it up and everything spick and span and it's prepped for the next load. And the main point that I'm, I'm trying to get at for whoever is listening to this is we have two choices, right? And humans, we're trying to avoid pain and we're trying to move towards pleasure, okay? And, you know, a lot of times you're going to make mistakes and you have to actually physically feel pain in order to learn your lesson. So in this instance, you know, being in my truck and knowing that I'm fully unloaded and I have to clean out my trailer, I thought to myself, well, what is the future pain that I'm going to run into if I make the decision to procrastinate today? Because obviously there's a pain that I'm trying to avoid right now. It's getting out there and organizing my trailer. That's the pain I'm trying to avoid, right? And the pleasure that I'm moving towards is the present pleasure that I will experience by sitting and not doing nothing, going on YouTube, scrolling on social media, doing whatever other than what I know I should be doing, right? However, simultaneously, what we don't understand is by avoiding this pain, and seeking out the pleasure, current today pleasure, we are future prepping ourselves for a future pain that's going to come up. Now, we think that by avoiding it and taking on the pleasure now that it is, that's okay. We will live with that. But we, we make future pain later, okay? Rather than saying, okay, how about I choose to view this particular pain as pleasure? What is the reward? Well, the reward is if I embrace the pain now, then I get to enjoy long-term pleasure and there is no future pain, right? So we have two choices. We can avoid pain and take on pleasure and then have a future pain. So there's avoid pain, pleasure, pain or we can choose pain and then pleasure and there's no more pain right so you know just thinking in that mindset you know just the story that i just told you or just the the analogy about my life is it can be applied to anything it can be applied to working out it can be applied to whatever you think or you know you should be doing in your head Think about the future pain that you're going to endure that if you choose pleasure now. And then think about it. If you just embrace the pain and choose to view it as a form of long-term pleasure, how would your life change? How would how would the future change for you? And if you think about that, you know, um, there's this book called Green Lights. I haven't read it, but looking on YouTube and actually listening to the synopsis of it, you know, it's better off to create green lights for yourself. So, you know, what you do today is tomorrow's leverage. So, and 
think about what can I do today to make tomorrow easier? What can I do for the next couple of days to make the next couple of weeks easier? What can I do this week to make this month easy for myself? And the next day and the next day and the next day. And if you keep going like that, life becomes easy when you just embrace pain.